Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 116. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. So yeah, if you do if you do enjoy the content and you're watching on Twitch, feel free to show some support, share the stream out. If you're enjoying the content and you're watching on YouTube, drop a like, feel free to share the videos. And uh, if you want to help support both channels, um, there is the super thanks button on YouTube and the subscribe button on Twitch. If you want to help in that way. <laughs> There's all sorts of different ways now that you can actually help support channels. There we go. There's my sellout in done. <laughs> Hey, no worries, Tack, no worries. Uh, well, hopefully you enjoy your dinner, whatever it is. <laughs> Proceeds to like every video on YouTube. <laughs> I wouldn't be against it. Proceeds to run the Falls of Mega Series playlist and runs that AFK in the background. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, I had something stuck in my throat there. <laughs> so yeah, the cold is pretty much gone now. It's just a little bit sort of like sniffly nose, cough, but when I'm coughing now, it is actually like clearing everything. Yeah, I've got... um. So when I go through um, and upload the videos, I put each video on two playlists. So I put them on the respective game playlists. So Forza Motorsport 3, Forza Motorsport 2, Forza Motorsport 1. So you can watch and just binge the entire game. But if you're wanting to watch like the entire series from start to finish, there is actually a series playlist with all of the Forza videos in one. So... Except for my old Forza Horizon 4 playlist that I did. Uh, well, it would have been at least four years ago now. When I started doing the YouTube. But those Forza videos are actually available. You just have to become a uh, channel member to watch them. Because they are um, pretty much archived stuff now. If, if I'm going to be doing a new series for that anyways, so it's not like you've got to pay to watch Horizon 4, because I will be having a new playthrough on that soon. Ah, uh, do you know the good part about buying? Because I'm going to be buying Horizon 4 on Steam. Um, it hasn't been delisted yet, has it? Probably going to get delisted next year. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Likes the video. Next video. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> but yeah, if, even if um, people sit and listen to the videos in the background <laughs> even if people sit and listen to the videos in the background I mean that really does help as well and it's an easy way to add watch time as well Because uh, t with Twitch, the algorithm is pretty shit. So, 
the only way you really grow on Twitch is if people share the stream out. That's pretty much how growth happens on Twitch. There's not really any algorithm that helps you. It just doesn't, it doesn't really work. On Twitch that much. But YouTube, because it's all like recommendations. As well as like sharing stuff out. You have to like it, you have to watch it. And that's how YouTube gets creators out into recommended. Yeah, pretty much. So it all depends on how active other social platforms are. But a, a lot of big content creators say to focus on one platform. Like, focus on two social media platforms. So one that's like your Twitch, that's your live sh streaming, your more interactive one. And then one that's a little less, but it's still there. So most of the time they recommend something like Instagram or Twitter. But Twitter's a bit of a shit show at the moment, and it's it's basically a pay to win. You don't really get recommended anymore unless you buy Twitter Blue. Which, I mean, fair enough. I didn't really get much traction on Twitter anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Instagram's not my kind of platform. Like, I, I love it for, like, photographs and stuff like that. Like, it is the ideal platform for photography and posting photographs of your stuff. Anything else, though, it's, it is not really great. Um, so, yeah, pretty much I'm stuck with YouTube as my... Well, you, YouTube is pretty much my main platform at the moment. I think Twitch is a side platform. Because... I mean, most of the stuff that I'm doing on Twitch is just me recording for YouTube. And then I'm focusing on, like, editing and stuff like that. So I'm putting more time into YouTube than I am Twitch. But uh, that's going to change this... Uh, not this Sunday coming up, next Sunday... Because um, I'm going to sit down. Going to sit down and um, rework some stuff on Twitch. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I think I'm going to... Um, I think I'm going to have to reinstall OBS, first of all. Get that redone, because something's going a little bit wrong with that. Telling me that you'll be sweet. And you'll never want to leave my side. Promises. But yeah, I want to, um... FM1 done. Mental. <laughs> That's a lot of videos. How have you managed to like all of them in in that time? It's <laughs> crazy. I think FM1 was 68 videos. Oh, 
But what's that for? Cri the Christmas thing. If you're wondering why I haven't said thank you for your Christmas present, Cotto, it's because I haven't got it yet, technically. <laughs> so I can't say... <laughs> I can't say thank you for something I haven't received yet. So, uh, you'll have to wait for December 25th, okay? <laughs> Which one did you order, by the way? Ah, uh, 25th. Slap bang at midnight. Hey, at least... At least you didn't do it at midnight on the 26th. <laughs> Standard one. Fair enough, fair enough. Promises. And it's also wasted on myself. Ram, ram. ram Ranch. Yeah, I mean, how many people do you order presents for? Oh no, for Christmas. <laughs> I'm speedrunning YouTube, that's brilliant. Fair enough, that's not too bad then. I pretty much have to get it for all of my family, so I, I don't know if I'm going to this year. I think I might just get brother, sister. Sister, sister. Because <laughs> there's three of them. Mum, dad, and... Yeah. No. Not this year. I'm a nump shimmanup. Yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be quite hectic. I've got a month to get it all sorted out. Alright, well, that's Edge sorted out. I, s I understand why people refuse to use Edge. But I also don't understand why people refuse to use Edge at the same time. Because a, a lot of people are like, I'm not going to use Edge because it's Edge. Like, they, ha they have no reasoning behind why to not use Microsoft Edge as a browser? Yes. <laughs> the pink mercy. <laughs> Welcome back, Tack. Welcome back. How you doing, man? What do you have for dinner? Or how was your dinner? Yeah, like, whenever I have the topic of you should use Edge, everyone's like, ugh, Edge is such a bad browser. And it's like, do people really think that Chrome has been like the king of browsers for the whole time? There was a time when everyone used to use Firefox and Firefox was the fucking amazing browser that everyone should use. But Edge doesn't use Bing. You can change it to Google. It's a Chromium-based browser, so it, uh, it has all the settings there. You can change it to use Google. I just prefer using Bing because I get my Microsoft reward points. But if push comes to shove and I need Google for something, I will search up Google on Bing, get myself my points, and use Google. <laughs> like, the thing is, the amount of times in a browser anyways when I want to go to Google, I will search Google. It, it really, really doesn't bother me, the fact that Bing is default. <laughs> because porn. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Uh, I shall not confirm nor deny. Oh. <laughs> uh. Well, yeah, it's it's the only bro browser from the get go, but you can quite easily swap and uninstall Edge. Um, if you want to get rid of Edge and replace it with something else, you can. Um, you just have to go into the default browser options on Windows 11. Sure, when Windows 11 was first released as like a beta, they did try and force you to use Edge. But it, it's not as much anymore. Because I, I can guarantee you, if it was still a thing... And it was still a problem. People would still be bitching about Windows 11. They're not bitching about it nearly as much. They're still complaining about performance, but... Hmm. Two mines. I do want to upgrade to Windows 11. Because it, it does look much prettier as an operating system. I just can't justify the, the performance hit that's still there. <laughs> I mean, the only thing is, Windows 10 is going to stop getting, like, support after 2025. So we still have three years of Windows 10 that we don't have to worry about. Um, I do have a feeling though that Windows may end up becoming a free operating system for Windows 12. And the only reason I think that is because a lot of operating systems, other than Apple's, which is not even distributed, um, a lot of operating systems are free. No. Windows is a paid for thing. I think it's about £90 for a key to be able to use Windows operating system. But that £90 is worth every penny in my eyes because Windows is the best operating system that I can recommend to anyone. It, it's been paid for for a while, but if you buy a computer that comes with it, they normally have like... Um, backdoor deals that yeah you can get it on a USB stick and install it it's just not a activated copy of Windows to actually activate and like own the copy of Windows um, you either have to do a really sketchy method um, or run a crack copy which more than likely Zeno you know, if if he's got a copy of Windows on a USB stick it might already have been a crack copy. Um, Windows doesn't really care if you run crack copies, I don't think, because I think they're more trying to get people into the Windows operating system so that they have to use, like, stuff. What do you mean one video is unavailable? No video should be unavailable. Which one is it? So I can have a look into it. Use NordVPN. <laughs> <coughs> Luna Adblock VPN. <laughs> I need a therapist. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Hey guys, Mechanic CG here. Hey guys, Mechan Jesus Christ. I need a therapist. I need a therapist. I need a therapist. Because I need therapy. Oh shit, that didn't go well. Um, yeah. I, I, I mean... To be honest... I've used quite a few different um, operating systems. I've used like 
Uh, I've tried Kali Linux before when we were doing like cybersecurity shit. Uh, there was another version of Linux that we used as well. Um, that I cannot remember what it was called. Those were both an absolute pain in the ass. Obviously, I've used Mac OS, which is a bit better than those two Linux OSs, but a hell of a lot worse than Windows. Um, solely for the fact that Mac OS just doesn't quite have the flexibility that I'd like from like being able to use multiple different softwares like by all means when it comes to like photo editing and video editing and audio editing and stuff like that hey let's go Kodo appreciate it man yeah when it comes to like video editing and photo editing like Mac is just superior I'll be 100% honest like if, if I could have a Mac as like a second PC solely for like rendering and editing and all that stuff I'd, I'd do it in a heartbeat I just don't have the money for it. Um, but I will be honest, Steam OS, the Linux based PC operating system, Steam OS is actually really fucking good as an operating system. I'm, I'm not even joking. The, it feels like you can tinker around with it a lot more. But you have the freedom and the flexibility to actually do what you need to do on the system. Um, there's nothing crazy going on in the background. The only thing is... Um, I will not run it on my main build. Until it's actually like... I, I am tempted to swap... Imagine Mech having Mac with a Big Mac. No. Um, what was I going to say? I am tempted to potentially swap over and add. Um, I need to work out how to do it, but I might add SteamOS to my PC. So I'll use Windows and sort of stream off of Windows if I'm going to game... But if I'm, like, recording my Forza stuff, I might just load up SteamOS and use the desktop mode in that. As long as it is more efficient to do it that way than just running Windows. Because Windows, the, the difference between, like, a Steam operating system and, like, Linux and stuff like that is Linux is a very bare-bones operating system compared to Mac and Windows. Mac and Windows require a lot of background processes to be running at the same time. Um, Linux is nowhere near as much background stuff. It's why you can run Linux on pretty much anything and it feels like a performance increase. Because it is just such a bare bones operating system. And I mean, I think that's why they chose to run their own custom Linux on Steam Deck rather than Windows because I, I mean if you've seen how the Steam Deck handles Windows it just cannot do it that well by the way Hans are you uh, free after stream Actually, it'll probably be a bit late. Because I'm thinking of playing some Euro Truck Sim at 10 tonight. Which would be like 12 your time, wouldn't it? It'd be like midnight. Probably be too late. But yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play some Euro Truck Sim at 10 tonight. Because I want to buy my first truck that didn't get bought through a bank loan. Because, yeah, I've, I've basically earned, like, 500,000 credits in your truck. Somewhere around that line. Probably more, like, 600,000 now. But the only problem is I've had to pay a majority of it back 
through loans and like interest and stuff like that. Which, I mean, it was probably quicker the way that I did it and paid back loans because I had someone earning additional money. So it was probably quicker the best way, uh, the way that I did it. Like as a creator, YouTube's analytics are amazing for looking at like your top stuff and comparing how your top videos did over the past 28 days. But in terms of like wanting to comp the one metric that a lot of creators want to look at is how well something did. Like for example, if you made a series and you want to compare like oh how well Motorsport 1 did to Motorsport 2, you can't do that comparison because you can't select multiple videos and use them in a comparison. Like it's it seems stupid. Because that's what majority of people are going to look at in analytics, is the wider picture. Like, by all means, if you post, like, one-off videos that don't matter, then yeah. The way that for, uh, the YouTube do it is amazing, but for people that make, like, series of videos, YouTube's analytics are just terrible for them. It's such a pain in the arse. Uh, favorite falls a game. Gonna have to say Horizon 3. Personally. I do think Horizon 2 is a more awesome game because of the fact it's cooler, but Horizon 3 has the PC patches. So let's go. Many likes. Many likes. Let's go. Go. Now all you need to do is just binge watch the series. Ha <laughs> uh, you missed out on a good game then, Tack. Fuck off hands. No. <laughs> <coughs> Horizon <laughs> Horizon 5 is the worst Horizon game. The worst Forza game that's ever existed so far. Um I think once that game goes offline and you have to play it through as like an offline experience, I think that game will actually become a lot better. I just think how they're doing it with focusing on online content and only doing like online stuff, I think Forza basically lost its charm this time around. Suck my ass. Yeah. I mean, Horizon 3. Hey, appreciate it, Tack. Appreciate it, man. Tack, if you can have a look on... Uh, I'm not 100% sure where you're from, but if you're from the UK, you can definitely look on sites like CEX. I think they sell copies of Horizon 3 for, like, 6, 8 quid. It's definitely worth picking up and giving a try, because... The actual festival atmosphere. In terms of motorsport games, um, <laughs> let's go, England. Let's go. Apparently, so. Yeah. Well, if you're looking on, like, key selling sites for a PC copy, they're going to be expensive because the PC version of Horizon 3 was only available as a digital purchase. And it's the same with uh, Horizon 4 and 5, actually. They're only available as digital purchases. So if you want to run Horizon 3, 4, or 5 on PC through the Microsoft Store, you had to buy it digitally. You couldn't use an Xbox game, plug it into your PC, and it would run. That is the one thing that confuses me so much. Is why on earth Microsoft don't allow PC consoles to run Xbox games. Even if they forced you to have to use a controller. Like, with how cross-platform compatibility is going... Like, I really don't see why Xbox just wouldn't offer that. Because it's extra revenue source at the end of the day. 
Like, I, I get why. Because Xbox does run applications slightly differently. But the thing is, Windows PCs understand how to run Xbox One applications. I'm not sure about 360 or the original ones, because I think they were completely different. But Windows PCs do actually understand how to run um, Xbox One things. PlayStation, I'm not so sure, but... <clears throat> Yeah, I've got the uh, the PC version of Horizon 3 with all the DLC, so when it comes to us playing through it, we'll do all the DLC for Horizon 3, Horizon 4, and Horizon 5. So, we'll have two Hot Wheels DLCs to do in this playthrough. <laughs> Your DLC is mine. I, I, I will agree, I wish... Um, there was proper backwards compatibility on um, PlayStation. I mean, Tack, even then... Sorry, I've only just seen your message. Even then, if you've only got an Xbox One, you can still play Horizon 3. Because that game was an Xbox One game. So if you look on CEX and find... Horizon 3. You would enjoy that game. 100%. Yeah. PlayStation messed up with the PS3 CPU. That was very strange of them. To make it the way that they did. Hey, nice one. That's the one I'm actually really looking forward to playing. Um, because... Blizzard Mountain was actually the first thing I purchased digitally. On... Xbox. Because I had basically... Um, I'd moved out. Uh, and when I went to college, as like my first week present for doing college... Uh, I... I went to a college that started a couple of years before, like, college years, so... It, but, that's when I got Horizon 3. I lost my copy of Horizon 3, I don't know where it went, but the disc just disappeared. Uh, and when I saw it was on sale for, like, five quid, before they delisted it, I was like, oh, it's a no-brainer, I may as well just get the digital one. Um... Because I knew, ah, if I get a PC in the future, I can play it on that. It was, I, I'll be totally honest, before I got a PC, it was about two years later. <laughs> but, yeah, it's my disc. Yeah, Horizon 3 is only a, a 3 game. It's either a 3 or a 7, I'm not sure. So, it, it won't be restricted. Yeah, but th that's the one I'm looking forward to. I enjoyed the snow handling in Horizon 3. I don't know why. And that DLC, because it was the first DLC and the first digital product I ever bought on the Xbox One, I played so much out of it because I bought it with my own money that I had saved up. I bought it digitally. It was mine. I know it wasn't that long ago, but... That was my first, like, digital purchase. Bought it off my bank card and everything. I'm fucking hyped, you know. So, I, I know Blizzard Mountain is going to be my one I'm looking forward to. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.